Hi. Okay, I'm back. And, and I think it's going to work this time. Um, hello. Hello, Tali. Hello, no Novit. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I can pronounce Anya Panda. Um, hello and good morning. Um, oh, what... What an exciting time to be alive. We can say that at the very least. There's a lot going on in this in this particular moment. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm reading all of my little comments here. Hi, hi there, uh, Krish. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Ali, Aline, Aline? Um, Praveen, hello, hello, uh, Shirley Ballet Piano. Shirley, that is a fabulous name. Uh, Sarah Heninil, hello. Privyet, someone says in Russian, which is one of the few Russian words I can read. Um, hello, all. Good morning. Um, I... I love that everyone is awake right now. Some of you uh, undoubtedly are in Europe. At least one of you is in Russia. So for you, it's it's actually not an unreasonable hour. Um, I am Having a weirdly hard. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi, Misha. I'm <laughs> so thrilled to be talking to you. Good morning. Oh, How good are morning you? I, you? You must. You must be burning the candle at all three ends here. Oh, you. I am, and and like you, I have two kids, and so they are running me ragged right now. <laughs> oh, um, I'm surprised that you haven't just locked your children in a closet. That's that's been my strategy <laughs> so far. Um. Yes, I have I have two kids and uh last night they both had nightmares and both insisted on sleeping with me and I was like, Oh, oh this is not gonna go well at all. And that prediction proved to be accurate. Yeah. Um, well you know, I one of one of mine had nightmares also and crawled into the bed with me. Let me shut the door so you don't hear the other one crying. Hold okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Well, thank you. Thank you for talking to me. Um, I just, uh, you know, I know that you're I know that you're in the final stretch here and that it's come down to the wire and every little bit of getting the word out and and getting help with your campaign is critical. Um, you are you're you're locked in a in a dead heat Senate race with Senator Lindsey Graham in South Carolina. Um, you know, I, it, it, this this might resonate a little bit with some of my fans, but I, everybody on our show, all of the characters on our show, at one point, literally on Supernatural, uh, l makes makes a deal with the devil in the show. <laughs> literally, literally does that, and uh, and I think Lindsey Graham is it, it, at the moment epitomizes politician uh, who has done that. Um, he has sold all of his values um, and all of his integrity down the river in the last four years. He was a he was a conservative Republican for for many years uh, before Trump got elected. But when Trump got elected, he just decided, you know what, I am going to um, I'm going to hitch my wagon to this train and uh, I'm going to swallow the the bitter pill of making this deal with the devil. Um, Lindsey Graham is famous for having um, in 2016 said uh, how uniquely unqualified Trump was. Um, and now he's just been he's just been his lapdog um, yeah. for, for the last four years. And it's it's really appalling to see. Um, it really is sad. I mean, partly because, you know, I used to respect Lindsay. I, I thought, you know, when John McCain was alive, I thought that Lindsay was one of the last few statesmen that we had in this country. Uh, and it's almost like he is possessed <laughs> and we need some type of exorcism to, to get the old Lindsay back because I don't recognize this guy. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's just sad to see someone who had such a stellar reputation now uh, uh, to, to allow his reputation to just uh, get into the mud. But 
Yeah. Nonetheless, uh, we can't we can't uh, we can't think about that at this moment. We got no, we, we got to win this we, race. Um, we, we we have to win this race, and you you uh, in this race this race has proven to be, I believe, the most expensive Senate race now of all time. Um, more money has been raised on both sides than uh, that it's broken uh, every record. Um, so, uh, which I think points to just how crucial it is. Um, it's not It's not just crucial for the state of South Carolina, it's crucial for the country, it's crucial for the balance of power in the Senate. And, and the balance of power in, in the Senate is crucial because so much hinges on it. Um, yeah. can, can you, I know, I know that you, you know, you're championing uh, expanding Medicaid um, uh, to, to make it accessible to more people. Um, which, by the way, resonates with me because I grew up, uh, you know, on on Medicaid uh, and, and at times homeless as a child, and it was a lifeline uh, with without which I wouldn't have had health care. Um, but you're also talking about, uh, you know, actually providing uh, aid to people who are suffering from all of the ramifications of uh, of COVID, um, which is something also that you know, uh, frankly, the Republican Party has just abandoned the country. They're they're they're, they're putting their heads in the sand and pretending that this is just gonna magically go away as a remedy, and it's not. Um, anyway, can you talk, I'm talking too much. <laughs> no, no, Misha, you're right. I grew up on Medicaid as well. Um, you know, I, I'm the son of a teen mom uh, who, uh, you know, and my grandparents helped raise me. And so we know what hard times are. And it is hard for me to sit back and see people suffering in this nation when they don't have to. You know, when when there are things that we can do in order to improve the quality of life of all folks uh, and health care is one of those measures. You know, my grandfather, who worked hard each and every day of his life, uh, his employer did not provide health insurance. And so he ended up having undiagnosed diabetes, which eventually led to him being uh, having amputations and then eventually led to him losing his life because of the complications with diabetes. And there are people in South Carolina right now who work hard each and every day and are just like that. They're suffering in silence uh, and they don't have to be. Uh, you know, Republicans in South Carolina refuse to expand Medicaid. And then you have Lindsey Graham who uh, has proposed legislation, Graham-Cassidy, which is a monstrosity of a health care bill. Uh, it would leave millions of people uninsured, uh, wouldn't cover those with pre-existing conditions, and we can do better than that. And we will do better with that. We just need to change the leadership. Yeah, we do. Well, can I ask you, what, what, what at this moment can... Um, I have two questions for you. Yes. Um, one, one question is, what should people who haven't voted yet do if they have a mail-in ballot uh, sitting on their kitchen table? I know that the post office, I sent, my kids sent a letter to my grandmother um, on October 21st and she received it the day before yesterday. It took like 33 days for a letter to go across the country, first class mail. Um, what should people do, be doing if they have a mail-in ballot right now in South Carolina um, and, uh, or an absentee ballot? Um, and then my second question is, and how can people inside South Carolina and outside South Carolina support your campaign? Thank you for that, Misha. You know, if folks have an absentee ballot now and they have not sent it out, sent it out do not put it in the mail. Go and take it to your local election commission and turn it in or go and actually vote absentee in person. Uh, it's really, really important that you do that. Uh, at this point, uh, it is not, uh, you know, if your ballot is not at the election commission by Tuesday, November 3rd, I think at 5 o'clock p.m., um, it, it will not be counted. So it's important. To, if you want to make sure your vote is counted, go and drop the ballot off in person, or you can go and vote in person. Um, and that's really important. And for those folks who are looking at how they can be helpful to us, Go to jamieharrison.com, and you see I spell Jamie, J-A-I-M-E, so a little differently. Go to jamieharrison.com, sign up to volunteer. Uh, we will be doing phone banking and text banking all weekend long up until Election Day, and we would love any assistance or help that folks can provide. But go to jamieharrison.com and sign up uh, uh, to, to volunteer because we can use your help. Okay. Well, we are going to do that. We're, you, you, you have uh, legions of, of supporters here, and we will be rallying behind you. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. Um, th and, and fight on, and I hope you get a little sleep starting Wednesday night when you, when you <laughs> sink the election. Um, 
And um, yeah, we we're I'm gonna I'm gonna do some text banking for you later today. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Misha. Thank, thank, thank you for uh, giving us this wake up call this morning. It's it's really such an honor to get to talk to you. S sounds good, and thank you for having me on. Yeah, I'll talk take to you care. Soon. Bye. Okay, bye.